Hey, what's up? This is Tech Talk with Marshall, and today I'm going to be showing you the difference between Verizon and our existing internet service with Xfinity using their XFi gateway modem. Both speeds I will be plugged in through Ethernet, so I will be getting a true result. Let's start by unpacking the Verizon uh, modem. They've definitely won on presentation when I got my Xfinity Gateway modem um, and Streambox. It literally came in a small box. I think it came in some maybe some plastic even, just like a plastic bag. Not really, not really killing it on the presentation part there. But um, I'm going to unpack this, and we'll we'll see what we can do. So although there is a lot of packaging, um, it still is necessary packaging. So I have two coaxial cables here, I have the box, and it even comes with a setup guide's flap, um, so I know that if I need any help, I can always reference that. But uh, let's continue unpacking here. So on the inside here we have a uh, Verizon modem that is Wi-Fi 6 certified um, and we have a, a little pamphlet here we have our setup guide and we have another uh, unknown box here so we're going to figure out what's uh, what all this stuff is. Okay, so it looks like inside this box here will be the power cord and a complimentary ethernet cable. And then this will be the setup guide. Very easy installation. Very, very easy installation guide. And here we have our modem. It looks very similar to that of Xfinity's, how it is white and um, basically literally looks the same <laughs> as Xfinity's except for the slanted top it has a square top um, and the LED indicator is right below the Verizon check mark there um, but other than that it looks just like Xfinity's so let's hope we get better speeds so as you can see we're gonna just type in speed speed test and then Google has its own embedded speed test on their website if you just run speed test, right? And then they'll have the speed test by OOKLA and then an Xfinity speed test as well. We're going to do that too. But for this first speed test, uh, we're going to use the Google one. So it's an unbiased speed test. And again, I am wired in. So. So this is pitiful. This is just terrible. Terrible. I'm supposed to be getting gigabit speed. I'm paying for gigabit speed and I'm getting 210 megabytes and a 40 megabyte upload. That's 
ridiculous. The only other devices right now that are connected to the network even are the um, our Google Home um, and our stream box, which was provided by them and it's not even on right now. My girlfriend is working wirelessly, so there's, and we have two um, um, voice assistants in the house. That's it. That's it. But even before we connected them, we did a speed test like right when we, right when we got here, and this is what we were getting before anything was connected. So, it's not that I'm saying, it's not that I'm complaining that 210 megabytes for your download is bad. I, not at all. I know some people may be joyous over 210 download. That's great for them, you know. With some speeds from Comcast, they may be getting like 40 or 50. I know some people that do that. But for me and my girlfriend, it's just simply not enough. So, let's move on. We're gonna do a speed test by OKLA. Let's do it. It knows Xfinity. Let's check it out. Trash. Just trash. Look at that. That's not even 150. This is another, I think, I'm pretty sure um, OKLA is uh, unbiased as well. The, the upload seems to be consistent, but that download is 132. There's no way, no way. All right, so here are the um, results for the speed test. Here are the results for the speed test from OOKLA. 16 millisecond ping, 132 megs for download. Let's round that up to 133. Um, and 42 megs for upload. Okay. Um, damn. Always give feedback whenever you can. It's not their fault that I'm getting um, low speeds. Let's start the test. This is even worse than OOKLA. And you would think that with their website, they would beef it up a little bit. Um, but there's no buff. This is less than a hundred megabytes. A hundred. Less than a hundred megabytes. Upload speed. This is ridiculous. 23 millisecond ping. I'm getting sort of consistent here. It's 37, 37 megabytes per for my upload. But this is ridiculous. Now what we're gonna do is run a speed test wirelessly. I will get the wired connection soon, but we're gonna run a wireless speed test with the Fios router. And already breaking speeds. We're at almost 600 megabytes per second wirelessly. Upload is ridiculous. 184, that is, that's amazing. That is amazing. What a phenomenal change. I'm gonna do a wired test in a moment here, but uh, 583 down, 197 up. That's, that's insane. That's over twice as much uh, speed. That's almost three times as much as I was getting with Comcast plugged in directly to the router. So now that we have our IONT hookup complete, this one of them is the coaxial, one of them is the ethernet. I have it going all the way across here, right here to the actual um, box itself, the router uh, modem itself. Uh, as you can see, I don't have the coaxial plugged in. However, I do have the Wi-Fi 6 certified port plugged in. 
uh, via Ethernet and the power uh, cable plugged in. I do not need the coaxial for this setup. Some people do. Okay, and that's really all there is to it. I really hope that this video was able to help you out in ways that you can choose a cable provider more carefully and more tailored to what you're gonna be using it for. Uh, as usual, leave a sub, leave a comment, leave a like, and let me know what I should be doing for my next video. Um, as usual, I will see you next time.